Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a stack bar graph in Python. So here uh, I download, I have a, a simple data set. So here's the uh, CSV file. And so I download this file from uh, Kaggle, so which is a, a data set, a data warehouse website. And the data set is for average SAT scores for uh, New York public schools. And it's for the year of 2014 and 15. So here's the, the data set. I clean out the data a little bit. So if you want, you can um, download the CSV file from the link in the description below. And so I'll basically uh, use the, the school name. So I'm going to highlight the columns that we'll be using. So school name. Here I'm going to create the stack bar using the average score for SAT math, reading and writing. So I'll use these three uh, columns as well. And we don't need the uh, the rest of the columns, so let me so let me just leave the CFC file uh, somewhere else. And let's go to the uh, the Python script. So I'm going to start importing uh, the package. So matplotlib.pyplotsplt. Uh, Oops. And here I need the the numpy package as well. And thus, uh, here I'm going to use uh, a, a package called text wrap. And from that package, I'm going to import the uh, wrap method, or oh, actually function, sorry. And the wrap function is going to wrap the, the label text later on when we create the, the graph. So, and, so those are the packs. So, these are the packages that we need. And I'm going to import the data. So here I'm going to uh, use the, the recsv method. I'm going to uh, grab the, the file name. So here's the uh, scores.csv. And here, if I uh, do a quick print of the data set, we get uh, 375 rows and across 22 columns. And I don't need all the rows, so I'm just going to uh, grab the first five scores. So here, uh, let me remove that. And here, I'm going to create a data variable. And so I'm going to grab the first five rows from the uh, raw data uh, data frame. And here, I'll grab the uh, score name column and average score uh, column. So average score in SAT math so that's how you spell it and the average score for uh, SAT uh, reading and last we need the average score for uh, SAT writing here I'm going to uh, insert the script bracket again so because we have multiple columns and I just uh, print the data in here's uh, so here is the uh, the data frame or data set that we'll be using to create the stack bar graph so very simple data set and basically I'm going to stack the the add score for math reading and writing uh, together so here now we know what the, the data set looks like I'm going to create my uh, scores label so here I'm going to uh, grab all the the score names from the score name column so here is the first column and here I'll grab the, the math score uh, data And from the, the second column. And so now reading. And writing as well. And we also need to uh, create a um, variable for the index. So this will generate the, the index uh, for my graph. 
And now if I just do a quick print of uh, just a couple of variables real quick, just want to double check that I'm not making any mistakes. Okay, so everything looks pretty good right now. Here's the, the index list. And now we have all the uh, variables that we need to generate the, uh, the graph. So now let's go ahead and create the graph. So first I'm going to plot the create a figure. set the figure size to uh, 10 by 7. So here I'm going to create the, the graph and the first one will be uh, math. And so I'll, I'm using the, the plt.bar method and I'll, my first parameter is the, the x. The x is the index and height is the, the value. So here's uh, is the value from the bar math and the words basically the words of the the bar and i'm going to set to uh, 0 0.35 okay now i need to create uh two more uh graph for uh writing and the reading so graph and oops graph okay there you go and first one be reading First parameter is the, the x, which is the index uh, list. And height will be coming from bar uh, reading. And for the words, I'm going to set to 0, 35. And so here, uh, so we want to stack uh, multiple bars together. You want to uh, you want to assign the bottom property and with the uh, with the, the additional values that you want to add to your list. So here I'm going to add the bar math uh, scores, the, the math scores into my bar list. And we'll do the same for writing. And this time we have two more layers. We have the reading layer and a math layer. So we'll do a uh, bar math plus, actually, let me do, should be, uh, the bottom will be, yeah, bar math plus the uh, bar reading. So this, the, the actually, math will be at the bottom. So it should be a uh, bar reading and plus bar math. Now we finish writing the code to create the graph. Now we just need to do some formatting. And I'm going to first create the label. So for the uh, x axis label, I'm going to name those uh, scores. And for the y axis label, and that'll be um, SAT scores. So here, let me graph the, let me display the graph so you know what, what the graph looks like right now. And this is what we have so far. So if I uh, open the CSV file, and now if we just do a, a quick comparison, so let me, uh, let me highlight the, the five, uh, the first five scores that we're going, that we are creating the graph for. And now if I, uh, let, me, let me do this, sorry. So let me hide the, the columns. So the first one we have, actually, um, so the first one we have a math of 657. So if I hover my mouse to the, uh, to the tip, and you will see that, so the tip's about Yep, 657. So right here. So right now I have the wires uh, 655.79. And for the next variable, which is reading. And actually this one will be a very 
bad example because uh, the reading score and the writing score are the same. Let me pick a one that has a, a large margin difference. And let me take the second one. So here we have math 395 followed by the score reading. So 411 and five, so 311, oops. And 395, so it's roughly around uh, 416. And so the last one will be just the writing. And this, so this is going to be roughly about uh, 387 from the from the bottom of the green bar to the top. All right, let me close the let me close this and let's finish the the graph. So we have the uh, the labels. Now we need to uh, create the the ticks. So for the uh, x axis ticks, and here we're going to to assign the index a list. And so we have the, the label here, so score. So remember before we create the, the score variable, and which I'm, I'm going to use to generate the, uh, the x-axis ticks. And for the y-axis uh, ticks, I'm going to assign the user arrange function to assign uh, the scores distribution. Lastly, I'm going to create a title and I'm going to call these average SAT scores of NYC uh, public school in 2014 to 2015. Okay, now let me grab the the, the charts and now uh, this so this the, the the what we have so far. And if you notice that because the school name for some of the school name that uh, the character is too long and we need to do something about it so that's why uh, here I can use the wrap function to wrap the the school name if the school name is too long so to do that and I'm going to uh, reassign the school's uh, variable and for school in schools And here I want to join the text together. And here, so uh, wrap. And my first parameter is text. So I'm using, so I'm assigning the uh, score variable. And I want to um, create a new line every 15 characters. So here I'll uh, assign 15. Now this is the entire uh, code to create the uh, the stack bar graph, and now if I just save and run this, now I have this complete looking stack bar graph uh, using creating using a Python script. So if you look the the school name, and you see that we can clean up the school name uh, text and wrap the text every. Uh, let me see, AB 15 characters, so which would look much nicer. So yeah, so this is everything I want to show you guys in this video. And I hope you guys found this video useful. If you like this video, please give my video a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and see you guys soon. Bye-bye.